people want God to give them revelation before they will believe in Him. That's the way the world is. They want God, well, God show me this, or God does this for me, or, or God manifests Himself in a certain way. Well, then I'll believe in Him. But God says, no, you believe I exist, you diligently seek me, and then I will reward you. Well, what will He reward you with? What do you think the greatest thing is that God could reward you with? I believe the greatest thing that God can reward you with is greater knowledge of Him. The greatest thing God can reward you with is greater knowledge of Him. Not a material possession, not a social standing, not a warm fuzzy feeling, not an exciting stand up and wave your hands and shout and jump over pews kind of thing. But to have the knowledge of God is the greatest reward you can ever receive. Why? Because as we said, God is the source of all things. But God says, if you believe I exist, you believe I'm a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him, then He will give you further revelation. And that's exactly what happened with Abram. Abram obeyed God's instructions, and it resulted in further revelation. Um, let me see where we're reading here right now. In Genesis chapter 12, verses 4 to 7. It says, So Abram left, as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he set out from Haran, he took his wife Sarai, his nephew Lot, all the possessions they'd accumulated and the people they had acquired in Haran, and they set out for the land of Canaan, and they arrived there. Now listen to this. Abram traveled through the land as far as the site of the great tree of Moreh at Shechem. At that time the Canaanites were in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your offspring I will give this land so he built an altar to the Lord who had appeared there. What happened the first time? God had said to Abram, leave your country, leave your father's household, leave your people, go to a land, I will show you. Abram believed God, he obeyed God, and he went from hearing from God to seeing Him. There was a progressive revelation when he walked in obedience in faith. And that's the same thing that is for us today. If we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another.